in the community, we didn't concentrate a lot on local availability or accessibility. Getting access to healthier foods is difficult here. Our farm had been dormant for five years. We found that a lot of the health disparities in this county were associated with our diet and the things we consumed. The Choctaw tribe battles obesity and diabetes here on the reservation. My starting weight was 323. I was taking blood pressure pills, pre-diabetic, and my health was just going downhill. Our people in the community were ill or sick or dying because they didn't have access. So our whole focus changed from not so much wholesaling, but to make sure that we feed people in this community. NCAT helped us to, to change that mindset. There's so many people and organizations already out here doing the work. We're trying to bring people together so we can develop as leaders and start to make change in our own communities. And we grow specifically for our restaurants here at the casinos. They're our main customers. We pretty much know how much we're gonna have left over and that's where we do our donation drives. The one specific group of people that we distribute to is the elderly center. NCAT partnered with us to set up a demonstration farm here on the Pinewood School campus. Having access to more and to healthier food has literally made life better for our students. Uh, making healthy decisions that approach fresh vegetables and produce. Right now we're just trying to provide opportunities for families to put something healthier on the table. If we can make that step possible, then that's, that's what we're trying to fight here first. This work is hard. The challenges are systemic. So our role is to just support the work and provide tools so that our collective work can really have an impact and be long-lasting. You know, against all odds, with limited resources, we're still able to maintain and, um, and make things happen in a positive way, but the struggle continues. <laughs>